Good afternoon. This is Coach Big Pete of DeepDishFootball.com. Um, we're going to preview. I'm going to preview uh, one school uh, today, uh, and that is Notre Dame. Not preview, but uh, go over the recruiting in Illinois and what high school coaches think of them, and uh, just how they think of the pot, about the football program that is Notre Dame. Now, Notre Dame has picked up a big commitment in Mika Jones from Warren Township. Um, great player, high character type of player. Speaks again of Notre Dame, dripping in tradition, and um, a great alumni reach in the Chicago land area that Notre Dame has. <clears throat> they do a great job of getting their name out there. I mean, it's Notre Dame. They could probably be one of the top five historic programs in the country. Um, the main issue that I have heard from high school coaches is that some of uh, the Notre Dame coaching staff and the, from this coaching staff and the last with Charlie Weiss's coaching staff and a little bit into Bob Davies' staff, there were some coaches that were a little, how do we say, um, cocky. A little bit of cocky when they would come into the high school. A little, uh, a little, uh, how do you say, uh, very arrogant coming in. Um, and some of the high school coaches have said, yeah, it's not true. But a couple high school coaches says, yeah, it's true. There's been stories of high school coaches, of, uh, sorry, of Notre Dame coaches, just being a little bit arrogant. But it's Notre Dame, you can be a little bit arrogant, especially with that history. But a little bit a little bit of uh, the high school coaches felt a little bit um, offended at the way that uh, some of the Notre Dame coaches have uh, presented themselves. Now, the main problem with Notre Dame is, I'm going to say this right now, is the booster slash alumni association of Notre Dame? Um, they they have no idea what they want. It's literally like it's literally the, basically. I can't. I'm trying to put in words. Um, the animals running the zoo, basically, almost, because you ha it's like little little mini wars between the alumni alumni and boosters. Uh, what the coach they want in the next there is the next head coach, and that's why I feel sorry for Brian Kelly because Brian Kelly is I would ne never ever wish someone to coach Notre Dame football because you'd have to put up with that all those shitheads, part of the Notre Dame boosters, and they are pure shitheads because they don't know what the hell they want. Some of them don't even know the game of football, which is even funnier. But Brian Kelly is a good coach. Um, you can say top 10 college coaches in the country does a good job. Um, so does the staff. Staff does a great job too. But it's just that, that alumni booster so, whole thing, that they're a bunch of shitheads. They don't, they think they know what's best for the program, but they really don't. And it's going to happen again where Brian Kelly will probably get fired. Honestly, I I hope he doesn't. I hope he wins all the games that he can, but they're never happy. Honestly, Notre Dame alumni slash boosters, they are never, ever happy with what Notre Dame does. That's just the truth right now. And that's what happens when you don't have football people running the show. It's sad, but it's true. But, again, Notre Dame got Mika Jones from Warren Township. They, last year, I think, I think it was... Um, Cole Kemet, Cole Kemet, uh, that uh, just signed with Notre Dame. He's going to be a great addition. <coughs> Notre Dame does a great uh, job, especially hanging the Chicago Catholic League for uh, the Chicago uh, Catholic League first, which is a has always been a historic connection with Notre Dame. Always will be, but they do a good job. Um, but again, it's going to all be based on. Notre Dame winning games and the shithead boosters. And that's all I can really say about Notre Dame football because it's a good team. It's a team with ritual tradition, but just so many shitheads on that board and all. It just, they don't know what they want to do. And that's one, and that's always going to be the problem with Notre Dame football. No one has a clear direction. And, but again, Notre Dame is a great school to offer an education. Um, 
you get an offer from Notre Dame, it's it's something historic. It's something to be very, very proud of. Um, and a lot of kids go to Notre Dame and they honestly go on to have a great edu have a great educational career and go on to get a great job after that. So you can't knock Notre Dame University for educate for that educational uh, purposes and great football team. Uh, they sign on games with uh, playing with the ACC. Hopefully they can get back and play some more games with the Big Ten. Would love to see that um, tradition there, but. It's going to be interesting uh, these next couple of years with Notre Dame football. They're situated in a good spot, uh, but it'll be good to see. But, again, Illinois coaches, it's half and half with Notre Dame football. Um, I think the best situation for the future because of the decreasing uh, football players' population and the more increasing character and education-driven, that suits well for Notre Dame football and Brian Kelly and that whole football um program at Notre Dame but that's it if you like what I have to say please visit coach Big Pete I'm sorry visit deepdishfootball.com also follow coach Big Pete and Deep Dish Football on Twitter and Facebook also you if you have any questions please email me at coachbigpetefp at gmail.com